day one of a new job. We're getting a micro digger on this because it's got to go through here. Morning. Yes, it's working. Just checking the mic's working. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Right, it is day after bank holiday, May the 30th. Tuesday, May the 30th of May <laughs> at 7.30, really early, because um, I've got to get back to meet Christine at the hospital. So, day one of a new job. We're getting a micro digger on this because it's got to go through here and then it's got to go through there. <coughs> so we've ordered a small one way, over, way before the bank all the weekend and we'll get around here to here. The robbies have already been last week, got the old conservatory as you can see. So our job today and tomorrow is get all this up, get all that up, well not all of that up because we're we're extending, we're going to the end past the window, we're roughly where the downspout is. Pretty much the same thing, across and back, L-shaped wall. So this is all coming out, taking it right out, digging down, new foundation, and then start from scratch the slab out, piled up here for the grab wagon. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's um, digging foundations and making a mess for the next two days, and it's a uh, Another beautiful morning. So Alex just getting all the gear around. And then hopefully Jason will be about eight o'clock. He's always on time. We're a bit early today. And the dig will be here soon after. So while I nip, nip back off, I'm gonna leave Alex in charge. Well, Alex and Jason. And then you can start breaking this slab up and get it piled up over here. We can also pile it along here because the grab line's kind of come straight over there. So yeah, that's it for now. We'll get back to you in a bit when something's happening. So, just a quick update. Dad's uh, Dad's gone off at the minute to the hospital with Mum. Um, Jason's made a good start over here, moving some block pavers and knocking out some of the courses. I'm uh, making a start trying to chip this concrete away and it's bloody tough stuff. So, I'm just going to try and get more stuff cleared and get it all put on the pile. But, I'll take you over here. Jason is going to be our main man on that digger. 
Hodgins have arrived with our micro digger. Well, I really hope it's a micro digger because it needs to fit through this archway. <laughs> So now that that's here, we can get all this uh, concrete and stuff moved and we can make it start digging out this footing properly. So I'll uh, get you set up while Jason wheels in the merchandise and then we'll uh, get cracking again. this one. Do yeah. Just just so it makes it a little bit easy, doesn't it? Going through. Yeah. I think for now it's just going to get parked up and then we'll carry on with this shindig. You're with the railway tar. Oh yeah. What are you doing again? Yeah, I have a little chip in. Is it thick? It's not thick, but it's really tough. Because normally they're not like great, are they? No. I only thought that because of how easy these tarps look. Yeah. I could hear them when I'd walk around, they were loose. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not the thickest but it it just it's a good mix. I think it's a definitely good mix, yeah. Who's, uh, who's showing up? Huh? Yeah. So, there's your little progress update. Jason's been uh, breaking that up. And as you can as you can tell, it's uh, 150 thick, so it's pretty tough stuff. Dad's just trying to move this bush now so we can um, get a bit more crap piled there. But um, there's what our progress looks like so far. But now there's three of us. We should be get this done a bit quicker now. Keep all the crap off the grass. Did you bring a board, Dad? No, didn't get a chance. Right. Got a bit late, so I came straight back. Well, at least that means we can have our break now. So, yeah. Keep breaking this up. Get the digger out when it's ready. And get this footing dug. Oh, we've got, um, <laughs> we've got a pipe and a tree trunk to contend with over here, so that's going to be fun. But we will... Catch you after break.
20 past one. That was ridiculous. Majority that was six inches thick, down to about four and a half in the middle, and then drops down to 12 inches in the corner. And it sounded a bit funny, and the reason being it's so deep in the corner is. and see what happens where it goes and what have you and take it from there but as it stands now we can start digging with the digger and I've got all the way that's just the floor and the walls so we're coming in to this side of the, the downspout so that gully's in there okay as long as we're allowed to leave it there so we'll come in this way with it and out so it's hand dig around the drain get the digger in, drag this little bit out and start piling it along here and this section in there and round there trying to try and work around the tree if we can but anyway we've got, um, got all here to pile up we've got some boards against the fence to stop it going too much against the fence and we've just had a drink made so we're going to go make some dinner as you can see that that's a freaking joke that but that, that manhole is going to cause the problems I expect Hopefully not, but we'll see. So we'll see after dinner. Zoom in on it, it's, it's a one line on it, it's the outlet in the back of it. Come this side, you can see it from here. You can see the water trickling out. We've put the laser level on this here, obviously, that's our lowest point. And from there to there, that runs up 45 50 mil. Right. Then it runs back down to there, so. It's showing the bush. There you go. So, we've got the laser level on that. That's about 
30 mil lower than that. Basically, yeah. And that's where it's got to go. Basically, stay, isn't it? On the other side, wherever that goes, all that needs to be lower. Mm. For that to start there, to go down, is it? All that needs to go down. Now, whether it comes that And on top of all that. And, it, and, you can, and so that's you there, lower, that's there, and there's no other kind of connections. There's nothing that leads to that manhole. So, it's like, where does it go? It's just a pipe that goes from A to B. So there you go, that's 50 mil lower than that. So the water has to go climb up 50 mil, then up another, so it probably has to climb up 100 mil in the middle to get up the hill, and then climb back down at the other side to go out the gully at the other end. So I don't understand why that doesn't flood because the water should be up here. To get to that. And we've checked along, there's no other outlets along here. We have got a mile under here, but that's, that's nothing to do with it. They've just buried that for some reason. We'll have to check that to see why it's, why it's been buried and if it's been blocked off or anything. Hopefully, it's been blocked off. So it's going to be a lot of extra work. Surely, like, the rub can the Robbies like reroute the gullies to take it somewhere else? Um, I can see they can do away with this one. Can't even, you can't even get rid of it, can you, as such? Get rid of that, then start down that end, can you? No, I need to ask, get him down here. Who? Hey. Robbie. Because... You can get him here tomorrow. See, ideally, we could, we could get it on that corner. Do away with this one and get it on that corner. Or even in the middle. Yeah, we did yeah that but what, what's all this coming off? This roof, what's all these coming off? Yeah, that's Is true. Is that why he wanted them there? Mm. Not More dilemmas. Of a liability where it is, and it's in the way. Going right across our trench there, coming along the trench there, so we can whip it out and speak to Robbie tomorrow. I'm, I'm thinking put the outlet down this end, maybe off the roof, wherever the roof goes, and put an echo drain down here. Echo drain down there. That's where, it, that's where everything's going. Luckily, we're not going up to that. Because we were going to take that gully out. Could you didn't? There you go. Jason's just um, doing an archaeological dig on the um, on the manhole. And now it's just starting to whip this pipe out. It's not hard to get it out. No. It's probably a good thing it is faulty because even if it wasn't, it still needs to come out. Yeah, it's in the way. So yeah. we're getting it out of the way. It's in the way of the dig. Yeah. It'll be under the dig. It's going to be full of water. Yeah. It's got, it's got the way to go. In fact, what you want to do is lift it in this corner so the water runs out of it. Yeah. And then you can pull it out that way then. Come on. Can't hear it's anyone. just come up here, Alex, there. Yeah. The water's come up here. Well, it's come down there. What? If you lift it up and push it that way, it'll pop out. One of these will pop out. Yeah. Go on then while I'm filming it and then I can put the camera down then. Pop 
it up there, Al. You've got more flex in it there. Lift and push. Out here now in the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's got its trapped in the air. Yeah, there you go, look out. There you go. So as Alex lifts it. It oh, stinks. It stinks because it's stagnant, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's just sitting in the pipe. It stinks. Go on. It's got to come out. It's got to come out. Let me take that off there with that. It gives that lump hammer there behind you. And what I'll do, I'll lift this end once you break that, I'll lift this end. Break that bit there. Them yeah. bits there. He's not them off I threw she thought this would be half done today. <laughs> oh, it's only an L shape. The concrete's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, right, building inspector tomorrow, I might have to cancel that. Even though he didn't answer the phone, I just left a message. So they might not have even heard the message yet. That's it. Drop this end down now while Jason drains that. Oh no, you want to look up a bit slightly actually. Go on. Yeah, it's going. Whoop, there you go. Yeah. Oh yes, nice one Jay, it's getting away nice that. Go on a bit higher. It's gone, it should all be out. Yeah, drop yours down drop a little bit Alex. Just little drop bit. down a bit. That'll do. I think it's all gone. Yeah, it's clear. All the stinky water's gone. Right I'll pull it now. It's going to end up there Alex now. That's it. There you go. Al, it's only surface water with a few. It's only surface water with leaves in it. It like shit. Alex, the shit smells different to that mate there we go there goes the pipe yeah we, we should have come in to yesterday bank holiday and got the digger today we've not used the digger today so that's a waste but it is what it is it's going to be busy my, tomorrow I wouldn't have done my really cool display though what? I wouldn't have had my display you could have done that if we came in yesterday well yeah that's true Take you down.
anything? Cut that bit out. <laughs> so it took to the end of the day for Jason to get on the toy. So, but we've uh, we've took well, the. Anything to take out? It's the hard core. It's just not quite deep enough. So we're going to drag the hard core back, take the soil out, put the hard core back in. It's just frustrating. But we need a decent hard core under the floor. It's better that than burrowing. Yeah, and we've got two floor levels. We've got the skirting board, and we've also got a door here, which is slightly lower than this. Right. So. I need to speak to Robbie again tomorrow about what, what he wants to do with that. And then I got the tree, uh, I got the tree stump removed. I just went hamming it with a spade and got that out. So, and we've we've te we've poured some water down the gullies over there, and there's nothing coming out of this, so it's definitely dead. So we'll just see what uh, the building inspector says. But yeah, so that's really about it. We're we'll probably wrapping up in a minute, so we'll catch you tomorrow.